Once you have your script complete, the next step is to figure out exactly what you need to make your film. It's time to break it down. Welcome to the Filmlook. Rocket Stock's Lightly Pack Illuminate is a sure way to impress your viewers. Shot using digital cinema cameras in 4K, it's an unbeatable way to lift your video to new cinematic heights. Links in the video description. A script breakdown is essentially extracting all of the necessary information from your script. To do this, you need to read through your script and every time a location, prop, costume or character is mentioned, write it down. This is the script for our short film Backstage, which you can find on our channel if you haven't already seen it. Let's take a section from the script and break it down. Everything we highlight is something we need to make the film. Once you've done this, make different lists for everything you need. Characters. For this scene, we know we need to cast someone to play Jack, who is the fly swatter. If you haven't already, start to think about the characteristics of your character, then put a call out to cast your actor. We cast an actor called Daniel Lemon to play Jack. In this scene, we also need a group of people to be wrestling fans that walk past the camera. This is a very small part for people to play, but we still need it to help tell the story. The wrestling fans in our film were just the crew members. Costume. To help identify them as wrestling fans, Ed, the sound recordist, is wearing the same bandana as the medium who was a wrestler in the film. It shows that he's going to a wrestling event to support him. Then we threw in a foam hand, as this is a well-known costume people wear to a sporting event. Since this film is set in the 80s, all of the costumes needed to fit the era. So we needed to dress Jack in washed out jeans and a multicolored jacket. The final costume looked like this. We did not go for a multicolored jacket because we managed to get a denim jacket which was actually from the 80s. And nothing says 80s like double denim. Having this list just made sure we had something for our actors to wear which fit the tone of the film. Props we needed in this scene were wrestling leaflets which were shown earlier in the film to help dress the backstage set and help set the scene that this is a wrestling event. The black sports bag he is carrying in the scene was also used earlier in the film. The 1982 Volkswagen Sirocco really helps to ground this film in the 80s. Having access to a vintage car like this upped the production value of the film and really helped put a timestamp on the film. We wrote it in the script because we knew we could get access to it for free as it was owned by Richard's dad. The location we needed was an exterior venue where a local wrestling match might take place. We chose a public car park which had very few buildings and signs around it. We couldn't point the camera towards anything that showed that we were in 2017, so the empty car park worked perfectly. We also chose this location because we were able to place the car under the floodlights, reducing the amount of time of setting up complex lights. Once we've gone through the script, we create an Excel document to hold all of this information, with different columns with the first being Task. This is where we put the name of all of our characters, props and costumes. The next column is Delegate. This is where you can put the name of the person who is responsible for completing that task. The third column is for Notes with information of where we might obtain costumes and props. And finally, the fourth column is where you can tick off a completed task. When all of this section is in green, you've obtained everything you need to make your film. Throughout this breakdown document, we break down everything we need into different sections. We start by making a list of all of the characters we need to make the film, and when we've cast them all, their name goes into the notes section. Next are the locations we need, and when we have all of these complete, the address and contact details of the location goes in the notes section too. For the costumes, each character gets their own section, so we know which character is wearing what item of clothing. Finally, we split the different props and set dressing into the different locations of the film. We do this so we know exactly what we need to take to each location. Having a document like this lets you and your production team know what you need to make your film on different days and at different locations of the shoot. We use Google Docs to do this as it is free and everyone can see what they are responsible for. Breaking down the script gives you a list of all of the pieces you need to make your film. It's just up to you to put them together. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We've got loads more videos talking about our experiences about making our short film backstage. Big thanks to the team at Rocketstock for sponsoring this video. Light leaks are a great way to impress your viewers. Rocketstock's Light Leak Pack Illuminate can be found if you head to rocketstock.com or click the link in the description below. And you can start using these great effects for your next video too. If you want to check out our short film backstage, you can find the link on screen right now. Thanks for watching the film look and remember, achieve it one shot at a time.